Nutter Butter Girly, also known as Ava, is an animator that existed in the depths of YouTube back in 2010. She was a 20-year-old woman who had an average emo persona, speaking with very bad grammar and a cutesy voice when she had her microphone on. The usual stuff one would expect from someone participating in YouTube's early trends. She was well known for her AMV edits, short webcam videos, and most of all her animation memes with, made with Flash 32. In March of 2010, Ava posted a webcam video where she talked to the audience in her silly persona voice about her favorite anime and the most recent episode of it. It has between it has been rumored that the anime she was talking about was Heartcatch Pre-Q. As one of her animation memes involved a character from that show, suddenly an older man, presumably her father, can be heard opening the door and walking into the view. Face unshown, he starts talking to her in a mildly annoyed tone about how she didn't come to watch a movie with him like she promised. Ava, still remaining in character, responds to him saying that she is currently recording a video, which results in him telling her to shut it off when she's done and come to the living room. He then learns in to where his face is now shown to the camera and attempts to kiss his daughter on the lips, holding her by the cheek. She backs up and pushes him away from her foot, with her foot, telling him to stop before getting back to her commentary. The video was titled, Precure, Woo's Very Fun, and the description of the video had her, had her inform the audience that she's fine and her dad was just being weird. The original description read as, read as follows. Hi! Ignore my dad, he confuzzled me, to. Ava would move on to her regular posts afterwards, consisting of anime music videos and songs animated in Flash for the time being, up until the May of 2010. At that point in time, Ava, Ava's most recent videos would have her speak and code to her audience, either through the animations or her dis descriptions. In one animation titled, Walking on the Sun X3, it has her character doing a walk cycle with rave lights flashing in the background. In the video, text would appear for a millisecond as the video song played. Reading, look at her. She's by herself on the bottom and the right. Judging by the comments section at, by, at the time, no one seemed to notice. The next video, titled Goofballs at Mickey D's LOL, involved her doing a vlog with her college friends at McDonald's. One of their friends would arrive back commenting that he found a quarter in the toilet. Ava would recoil and tell her friend to go wash his hands and that he shouldn't touch anyone after reaching into the toilet. As he walks back to the restroom, she turns the camera back to herself and comments about it, saying something tantamount to, just like a certain someone we know, huh? The next several videos after her words seemed to be somewhat normal at, fir at first glance, until the descriptions of the video were put together. Every video after these five didn't link back to the code. The first video's description said, I hope you enjoyed the AMV. Been getting really into Fruits Basic lately. Ow. The second video's description said, Have you ever had Pocky? I sure did. Tasty stuff. I love it. Third video's description Nobody in my friend's group has ever talks about this show but me. Fourth video's description, to talk to Fluffy and hang out with him would be awesome. Madden AMV to appreciate this dude. Fifth, fifth video's description, help, ah, I'm gonna pass out. I'm so proud I've, of how this turned out. I was happy with the other Amines. I'm. I was mad, but this one takes the cake. 
putting every video's first words together would form the sentence, I have nobody to talk to, help. Weeks later, uh, she would post a comment in her most recent video telling everyone this. Get ready for a surprise, since none of you get the memo. There was no punct punctu punctuation. But strangely enough, there, there were no spelling errors. As if this was the best way she could make it clear as that something serious is going on. After this comment, she went inactive for four weeks with some of the comments asking if she's all right. Allegedly, her college friends came into the comment section asking where she was as she wasn't in class for a long time. It is unknown whether or not she called in sick to her college letter to let alone what college she went to. Finally, on July 24th, Ava posted her final video, the title being Psycho Teddy Anime. The thumbnail of her uh, being of her character with a comically disturbed expression, making a peace sign to the viewer. The video in question was an animation parody for the song of the same name. In the video, as the song played, a person drawn in her style with a cutout with with a cutout JPEG of her father's face, replacing the head, could be seen singing to the viewers. It was clear that this person was meant to person personify her father. As he sang, the video would cut to the to clips of him chasing Ava's persona and hugging her really tight, and then gradually got worse, with clips of him forcing himself onto her character. Once the J just squeeze me line is said in the song, a real photograph of Ava and her father would pop up on screen for a very short interval before cutting back to her character standing in a picture of her real room and playing the do you really 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 want to lines. The, a supposed screenshot of the video, her character is now staring at the viewer with her mouth smiling so wide her gums are showing, and the space where her eyes are supposed to be have been replaced with a single black bar. Once the I'm a psycho psycho teddy bear line is is said, the do you really 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 want to line is repeated over and over again, not stopping in the slightest. Her character walks out of the room and through photographs of her house as this happened with each photograph transitioning with a zoom out and hard cut. Eventually she reaches a photograph of a kitchen with a cooking ambience being heard. The, de the depiction of her father can be seen with a pan in hand frying an egg. The line as mentioned before is still repeating but this time it has simply reduced to do you want to? Ava's character stands next to the fur father, with her father looking to his right, directly at her. Suddenly, she grips onto the handle of the pan, and the scene cuts to black. Various blurry pictures of her real father would fade in and out of view, as low-quality, muffled screams of a man could be heard. The pictures range from her father, just as he was hit with a frying pan, to Ava herself holding her father's corpse by the head to the camera with an innocent smile. The video would suddenly end, cutting off the song and homicide audio when they weren't finished. The comments had everyone frightened and frenzied to find out why Ava did what she did. One comment rumored to be one of her classmates threatened to call the police on her home and referred her as Ava, hence the mentions. A day after the video was posted, her channel was suddenly deleted, but before that happened, she edited her video's description to give one final message. A message that explains everything in just a few words. He loved me a little too much. Well, that was Nutter Butter Girly a YouTube channel, Creepypasta, written by Chen Archives. My final thoughts? This story was disturbing, yet very well written. It reminds me of something out of a Nick Crawley video, if you ask me, because this would be the something you'd normally see in those types of videos. 
The story had its great build-up and foreshadowing on what was about to happen and all such. Because let me tell you this, people have been abused the same way as Ava did. Uh, being abused in a really horrible matter, and it's something I really, like, don't want to explain fully because it could take this video down. I also like the idea of this being a channel back in the early days of the internet, which in which I unfortunately, sadly, I didn't get to experience because I actually discovered the internet back in 2012 throughout 2015, which that would be my prime time of me discovering the internet. Huh, felt like a different time back then, but still. But anyway, there are unfortunately people like Ava's father, fucking weird assholes who are willing to abuse their children like that. Yeah, that's just, just that's just terrible. Which I liked about the the story; it had a deep me meaning to it, and that's pretty believable. Now, I like that there is a bit of mystery to the story, like what happened to Ava? Did she commit suicide, or did she go to jail? Because I like that mystery and had a pretty good cliffhanger. Now, is there any problems with this story? No. I thought it was deep, dark, and had a nice touch to it. Which, Chet Archives or La Fonda Pasta, I want to say you did a good job on writing the story. Round of applause, man. Now, if you agree or disagree with my opinion, that is fine. We are all entitled to our own opinions. My final rating of the story is a 10 out of 10. Dark, disturbing, simple, and had a really good message. Anyway, I'm out. <laughs>